Welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how you can make game passes that gives you tools. So first we need some game passes, so open the settings, go to game passes. I already have two game passes because I actually made this tutorial already some time ago, but I forgot to upload it and now it's on the old PC. And I think it was still with bad microphone. I'm just gonna make a third one. And just put, I'm gonna put some random image there. Like placeholder and purchase it for 100 retro bucks. <laughs> now you just need to know your game pass IDs that you want the tools for. So one, two and three like i don't know wall play tools or whatever next you go into the studio and <coughs> let's start with actually having some tools i'm just gonna add some empty tools like test tool one Oh, this is called just tool, tool one, tool two, tool three, tool four, and now this is a choice you have to make if you want it to be able to be dropped or not. I don't. And also, right now, don't require handle because I don't even need that. But, anyways, next, I'm gonna make a folder in lighting. And call this in game pass tools and next you add new folders into this and you name these folders with the game pass id so id one would be folder one and for this i want to get tool one for the game pass id one and well game pass id two i want to get two and three and for the game pass id tree i want to get the tool for well let's make it like let's make it like best <coughs> so one is tool one two is tool two and three is three and four now we need a script and we're just gonna call this game pass tools script turn on use local variables and next we're gonna first do is player added we're just gonna use player as output then we will do character added so we just get the character basic stuff then just add like a little weight here because sometimes the character added just returns a nil output if you don't add a weight which is kind of weird <coughs> uh, next we will do a loop to children of the game pass tools and we'll call this tools Folder. Now what we want to do is get the object property of the tools folder name. This will be the tool ID, no game pass ID. And to actually turn the string into the number, we're just gonna do two number, convert the string into the number. And just put the same output for that. <coughs> Next, we will check if has game pass goes to uh, of the player the game pass ID. So has pass, for example. And now, just to show you this, I'm gonna do a print here of the game pass id 
and then the has pass because there's a little bug. So if I play, let's see, we have one true, one true, two true, two true, three false, three false. I already have the first two, but you see it's printing it two times. This is because for some reason, where well, I don't know why, the connected blocks after has game pass once, twice. And to fix this, it's like you don't want the players to get double tools, just one tool of these maybe. Just gonna add a uh, variable. That one, the false. And now what we will do is the first thing after has game pass is an if if did run equals to false, you set it to true. And then if you we add the prints again, uh whoop, like that, play. It only prints one time. So with this we fixed it and we will not get double tools. So now we can remove the prints. And now we can do an if again. If um has pass equals to true. We will look to the children of the variable we did that here, tools folder. So like for example, one is the folder, and we want to get the children of that, so the tools. Just gonna call this tools. Then we're just gonna add a clone object block tools parent into player dot backpack. And this should be it. And it's important you turn on use local variables because if not it would not really work with multiple players. So if you know play, I should already get the. Oh, I did something wrong. Oh, let's see, let's see. I'm debugging. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not set object property. Oh, like that. <laughs> Just parent to player backpack. My my mistake. <coughs> now we should get tool one and tool two because I already own these game passes. So if we update now, exit the game. And I would go to the game page and buy the last game pass and then just press play. I should have all the tools for all three game passes there. And I don't have any models for these, but you see the tools are there. And so this is how you do this. If we reset now, it should also work, I hope. There we go, we get the tools back. I don't use uh, starter gear in the um, player object because in Virtual Studio, in the studio mode, it kinda gets messed up if you leave play mode. So you would not need to do character added but I don't like that now so this is how it is and yeah let's check the output no errors beautiful and yeah if you got any ideas for other tutorials write them somewhere so I have some stuff to make maybe and that's it bye bye